Here I had a Honda CRV with a 1.5 liter engine and, and it had a code P0299, which is an underboost of the turbocharger. And it's a pretty common code. And usually when you get it, most of the time you do need a, a turbocharger. But what I want to do here is show some data that will quickly tell you that, yeah, there's a there's a problem with the turbo um, before you start tearing down into the turbo. Because even I tried to get to the turbo real quickly, but I couldn't get to it quickly. Um, so what I want to do is show data that will tell you oh, that will justify um, to the customer or to yourself that it, it's time to tear down the, the turbo and start looking into it. So this specific car, there's three pids I want to look at, and that's bar barometric pressure, uh, <clears throat> turbocharger boost pressure, and turbocharger boost pressure upper limit. Upper limit is what it's supposed to be at, and TC boost pressure is what it's at. And usually when it's idling, they should all be around the same, about 14 point whatever. Um, could also say the same for coasting because this car when i took a screenshot of this pit it was going 32 miles an hour but it was it was coasting so the engine wasn't producing any boost so as you can see they're all at 14 so that's good now on this next screenshot once i give it some gas uh, you can see that boost pressure stays around the same as barometric pressure but the upper limit is um it's supposed to be at 20. so that means the boost pressure is supposed to be at 20 but it's only staying at 14. That tells me that there's a complete failure of the turbo. It's not producing any boost at all. Now, if you saw that clip, you can see that there's a big difference in what it's supposed to be at and what it's actually at which is about six pounds difference the code set criteria is um if there's a difference of 3.6 kilopaxels for more than 10 for more than six seconds and if you do the math 3.6 kilopaxels is about half a pound so it's way off it was off by six pounds now this is a list of possible causes that can be causing this p0299 and this is the information i got for that code and as you can see, the first two are for valves that are stuck. And like I said, the reason I recommend looking at the barometric pressure is because barometric pressure is the pressure that's outside. And you want to compare that to the boost pressure because if they're staying the same, that means that the turbocharger isn't producing any boost at all. Um, and if it was just a valve that was stuck, I feel like you would see at least a little bit of boost being produced by the turbocharger. You just, you'll just see a, a difference between what it's supposed to be and what it's actually at. If you're seeing no change at all and it's staying at barometric pressure, that means a total failure. And as you can see, number three, turbine damage or seizure, that's usually what it is. Again, with these other um, possible causes like exhaust pipe clogged, air cleaner clogged, or a leakage um, of air from the uh, tubes, I, um, I feel again like you'd at least see a, the boost going up just a little bit. There might be a difference, but a six PSI difference and it's staying at barometric pressure. To me, that tells me total um, turbocharger failure. Now for these last two, which are sensor failures, personally, I don't think they would get stuck at 14 point whatever. Um, that just, that just seems very rare. Usually they get stuck very low or very high. As for these sensors, I don't know what's very low or very high, but when you're looking at a good car, that's usually what they're at, 14 point whatever. They change a little bit. Um, and I'm going to show what it's supposed to be like on a good car. And you'll see that the, the sensors um, on a good car are stay around 14.21, 14.1, 14.0. Now, these are the readings on a good car. As you can see, boost pressure and boost pressure upper limit stay close all the time. Pretty pretty close there's not a big discrepancy between the two readings and if there is a, a difference in readings it's very very quick so it's not more than six seconds now what i printed out here um we're just information on p0299 if you need that information you can stop the video and read them but i'm going to leave them there that's all the information i could get so hopefully this helps you out if you have any questions just let me know um
The only reason I made this video is because I can't find anyone showing any information on this P0299. Um, most of the time, they just make a video like, okay, there's a Honda, it has this code, it needs a turbo, let's start tearing down. So like I said, hopefully that helps you out, and thanks for watching.